In this video, I'll be casting a miniature version of Frodo's sword from Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. When casting an object that does not lie flat, I like to prop it up so it does not rock while I pack in the sand. Your pattern should always be exposed at its widest points so that the mold does not break when you take the pattern from the mold. So here I am exposing the sword at its widest points to keep the mold in one piece. Adding baby powder before I form the top half of the mold keeps the two halves from sticking together when I separate them later. I add my sprue in my riser where I'll be pouring the aluminum. The riser is to let the aluminum through, flow through the mold and vent any gas. I also make a funnel so that I have a wider area to pour the aluminum into. This also creates more downward pressure so that my mold is completely full of aluminum when I pour. Here I add a flux to the aluminum to separate any impurities from the aluminum. I scrape off what is known as slag or dross. When I pour, you'll notice that the aluminum keeps flowing through the mold even after I'm done pouring. This is because of the downward pressure caused by the funnel. Here is an example of the dross or slag after it has cooled. The black that you see is unburnt flux and it is glassy in appearance. This is always the best part of casting, seeing how your cast turned out. I thought the detail in this cast turned out well, as you can see in the design in the handle and on the blade. To clean up my casts, I like to file and then use a Dremel and then I use a wire brush or a wire wheel on an angle grinder. Here's the finished product. I was very pleased with how it turned out. Thanks for watching 
and feel free to subscribe and leave any comments or questions you may have. Thank you.